Hey guys, it's your girl Siani and I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for today's video because I'm giving my cousin another makeover. Let's get into it. Okay guys, before you guys say anything in the comments about why she has that on her head, it's because I did her hair and I didn't want it to get messed up when I did her makeup. So I'm just going to take a really light color and put it all over her eyelid. This is the James Charles palette. I'm then going to take a transition color from the e.l.f. palette, which is like this light blue, and I'm going to put it above her crease, well, on her brow bone. I'm then going to take this blue from the James Charles palette and I'm going to put it on her crease and blend it into the light blue that's already on her eye. And I am using tap emotions, but I am still blending it while tapping. While I'm blending, I am trying to put the eyeshadow so it could be like a wing liner so when I go in with the concealer it's just nice and straight Now I'm taking the same color I first applied and I'm going to put it back up on her brow bone so I won't lose that color. I'm going back to the James Charles palette and I'm taking this purple bluish color and putting it on her crease. Guys, I'm not a makeup artist, but you know, I know a little some and yeah, I'm just practicing. Guys, I had music on, so she was dancing, but you know, I know she was feeling herself. I'm then taking this e.l.f. concealer and this Morphe brush and cutting her crease. You see how I'm cutting her crease on the top right now? So make sure you use tapping motions so you won't mess up.
I'm then going back and taking that purple blue color and putting it back on the outer corner of her eye. Then I'm taking this blue color and I'm putting it in front of that blue purple color. As you guys can see, I don't know how to explain it, but there you go. I'm taking a black eyeshadow and I'm putting it on the outer corner of her eye because I did want it a little dark. Make sure not to get too much because black is really extreme and you'll have a hard time blending it. I'm then taking this shimmery color and I'm putting it in the inner corner of her eye. I'm getting this blue loose pigment and I'm putting it in between the white loose pigment and her blue eyeshadow. I'm just taking a makeup wipe and cleaning under her eye to take all that eyeshadow off. Now I'm taking a little bit of foundation and a brush so I could clean up her eyeshadow on the outer corner on the outer corner and make it sharp. I'm then taking some eyeliner and doing a wing liner on her. And guys, I'm not my I'm not the best at doing wing liners, but I'm getting the hang of it. So I'm taking some foundation and taking a flat brush so I could smear the foundation on. Yeah. 
the foundation is a little bit lighter than her but with the bronzer and the contour it won't really show but just make sure to blend the foundation down to the person's neck I'm then going to take a damp beauty blender and just blend her foundation in. I'm taking some concealer. This is lighter than her, so I'm just putting a little bit. And I'm going to take some foundation and put it next to that concealer so it won't be that light. First, I'm going to blend it with a fluffy brush and then I'm going to go in with the beauty blender and blend it in. Then I'm going in with the Airspun Translucent Powder and setting her under eye. I'm taking some concealer and putting it on her forehead and the bridge of her nose and her chin. I'm taking some cream contour from e.l.f. and putting it on her cheekbones and blending it in with a beauty blender. I'm taking some bronzer and putting it on her cheekbones to set her cream contour. And guys, I just noticed that she had concealer on her hair and oh, oh my god, I'm so dumb. Now I'm taking a big fluffy brush and blending everything in. I'm taking the e.l.f. palette again and I'm taking blush and putting it on her cheeks and some on her nose. Okay, now I'm just going to blend everything together because I think I put way too much blush, but you still got to blend them in.
so I'm just taking some highlight you know because we gotta have her glowing and don't mind that I was just trying to see what brush I should use you juice no use and I did use like two highlighters so yeah I'm taking some black eyeshadow and putting it on her waterline. Then I'm gonna take some blue eyeshadow and put it under her waterline, but not too much because I don't really like that look. I'm taking this e.l.f. palette and getting that shimmery color and putting it in her inner corner. Then I'm taking the Morphe setting spray and setting everything in. So guys, this is the final makeover. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and share this video so you won't have to do it later.